Welcome friends to another Rolling with Ian video. I just finished doing a live stream after I had to go pick up a parcel out at uh, near Dufferin and Eggington. And I decided to do a live stream. And then I remembered I wanted to, you know, I hadn't gone down Old Forest Hill Road in a long time. So today we're gonna go down Old Forest Road, Old Forest Hill Road. And you'll see some of the beautiful homes in this on this street. So it's the yes, it's the Forest Hill neighborhood. Even the apartments around this neighborhood are very expensive. But uh, I'm on this side of the road because uh, this is a street where they have only have one sidewalk on the uh, on the road. Like, some of these houses are just epic. And then others, like this, are modern looking. They've modernized it. It might be an older house, but yeah, it's nice. Now, that grand old home is beautiful. I'm just in, oh, hold on. Before I, I got to show you this. Just look at the brickwork there. And again, luckily, it's nice they don't have a driveway in the front or a garage in the front like some of these houses on this side of the road. They have a nice long driveway. And then their garage is behind the house. And that's what I'm used to seeing around here. But there's another nice place. And it looks sharp. And seeing some of the same sort of styles of homes. They're sort of cookie cutter, but they're not. There's some subtle differences. Now that house is, look at the shape of that house. Like the roof line goes all the way down to the main level. But it's a three-story house, but it looks like as if it's a, you know, the house is shaped like a, like a triangle. A little side, bumpy sidewalk here, but. This is like a cottage style house. I think that's what they call that style. Oh my, I wonder if that's like a coach house. That's beautiful. Because there's another house on this property. But then there's this one back to that small house there that or like it's almost like a, a gardener's estate like oh and then there's more back there this is a nut oh i'd love to be able to uh, be allowed to explore this property oh here's a sign what it is it's the morden nelson home the president of Wh nielsen oh nielsen uh dairy i guess that is confectionaries yeah in the British Empire. It says who the architect... Yeah. Tu Tudor. Revival style. Okay. Steep roofs. Large chimneys. So this is a uh, heritage property. And that might actually be the house. I think it's just hidden back from the road. Because that's... I see a fence in between the two. I thought it was sort of like an extension of this house. But it's not. Now. I want you to take a look at these two houses. 
at one time, I don't know if it still is, but the same family owns both houses. Or the one side of the family lives in that way and this house was, uh, I wish I could tell you it, I really can't. Other people can look, try and look up uh, the address there, but there's, it's a pretty prominent family that owns that. I'll just tell you that one. I believe that house, 108, was the Gardner family, as in the Gardner Expressway. The reason I know this is I worked for a gentleman years ago, uh, at taking care of his house when he was spending a lot of time in California and taking care of his dog. I got. I guess I'll tell you this funny story. One time, he was away, and uh, his dog was out in the backyard and got skunked. And I had to call and go to an emergency vet to get him, you know, because he was he was very uncomfortable for the dog. See, for this, okay, it's all the modern signs and all that, but right for here, they still have the old Vista Road and Old Forest Hill Road sign. Now, I think I will continue down Old Forest Hill Road. It will take me to uh, um, Forest Hill Avenue, or I guess, Street, in which I can go down through the village. And literally, it's like a little village within the city. Hi, how are you? Excellent, yourself. Thank you. I'm doing great. Oh, what a cute little puppy. I always stop and take videos of little puppies. Hello. How old? Little puppy? Yeah, you want it? What, what are you saying? Yeah? What's your name? Ian. Hi, Ian. Make Orwell fiction again. Okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Wow. We got big brother out there. Yeah, I, I do. Rec I do videos of uh, around the city. Uh, there's other guys that do it. They do walking tours of different areas, and uh, I, I I've often watched them. And uh, do you mind being on camera? No. Okay. So I do these videos, and I I said, hold on, I've watched them, and I said I need to be able to. I can't go to some of those places, but I, I may be able to go to them. But I have to find different access ways. So I decided I'd start doing that, and uh, I've got a lot of support from the from the uh, YouTube community that's encouraging me and. Got my, finally got my, you know, got up to 100 subscribers. I think about 120, 125 now. Hoping to get up to 1,000. You're at 126. That's <laughs> I will see in the back, there's, it says, it's the channel's name. And I was actually at Wonderland. Someone said they subscribed to me because they saw that sign. Okay, so, so. Rolling with Ian. So, Ian. Yep. Um, you and I have a lot in common. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I did a video two days ago of the shoddy work at the corner here I don't you when you rolled over that it's I don't know very bumpy well aside from being bumpy uh, you want to go for a little sure yeah yeah and, and what I, I, I want to walk behind you and if you want to take a video of the, the surface and I'll ask you a question if you had hired a contractor to do concrete work at your place walkway etc and the end of the job they handed it over the way you're going to see it. You tell me whether you'd pay them. So it wasn't a city thing? This, is, this was a contractor that the city engaged oh. to do this work. Okay, so to start here, so this discoloration this likely is going to yeah. disappear. Okay, it's fine. You know, it's a little bit bumpy, but um, reasonable. Things will go significantly downhill first. First you're going to start to see black spots. You know, I guess these are bonus spots that we get to uh, be able to sample the asphalt mm -hmm. on the sidewalk. And then we have, you know, some nice, nice work here, like dropping a little bit of concrete, uh, you know, on the uh, on the pad there. And then some bonus black stuff over here. It, come, it, gets, it gets much worse. And so this is brand new, okay? I hope the city hasn't paid them. Look at this stuff here. This is tire marks from the equipment they use to put the sod over here. I want this wow. cleaned up. Yeah. Look at this. Look at this here. This is brand new. Yeah. 
and it gets better. Just come to the corner and then, okay? Well, I just saw an example of uh, bad concrete work. There's a brand new building at Church and um, Church and Carlton, uh -huh. and uh, it was a new condo building went up there. And there's supposed to be one of these down ramps halfway down the sidewalk for me to get on to streetcar tracks. No, I have to go all the way around. They didn't put one of these these easement things. It is. Who are the consultants? And who signed off? Look at this. Yeah. Well, a lot of that will rub off, I guess, eventually, but it does look, it's very unsightly. Okay, and so if the contractor said that to you, yeah. it'll wear off. You're going to pay them? No, but the city will, I, because there's, well, they, they always I, do. I got in touch with the, my counselor. Not in, got in touch. I reached out to my counselor yesterday. Yeah. I did the video two days ago. I walk in this area four times a day. Yep. And um, I watched this project last for about four months. Wow. Okay. What was it? Just replacement of the the concrete, or were they well, doing some construction they, underneath? What they did was evidently this corner, um, you know, must must have been must have been seen as some kind of a, uh, a dangerous area. So they redid everything. All these new sidewalks are an extension. This piece of property here was the road. Oh, okay. So they okay. just made it more it's a subtle turn. Okay. Well, they made it so that when you come around here, you go into that other lane uh, where, uh, or, where people are approaching. Mm. This is, this is a horror. It's a design error. Okay, and there are more design errors, you know, this, yeah. but, but uh, enough of that. Um, my name is Joel. Hi, Joel. This is Lizzie. Lizzie. Lizzie, Lizzie say hello to the camera. Lizzie, Lizzie. Okay. Now in the, in the, in the land of what are the odds? Do you know anybody by the name of Marshall? Do you know any Marshalls? No. No. Marshall Lukacs joined a group that I formed seven years ago. And he arrived at a party and somebody said that he needed a hand to get up the stairs. Marshall is in a in a wheelchair. Marshall uh, until about six years ago was a, a very athletic guy, a hockey playing guy, and at age 45, suffered a massive stroke. Uh, he's climbed the CN Tower twice since. Okay. Wow. Uh, he, is, he is an incredible, incredible guy. Um, I want you to send me an email because I don't have. I don't. I don't have anything right down on right now. Then I'm gonna find you. Find me on YouTube. It's it's Rolling with Ian on YouTube. It's YouTube slash Rolling with Ian, all one okay. word. And and I want you to get in touch with me. I would like you, if you're interested, in coming to one of our Zoom meetings. Okay. We had a Zoom meeting today, and the subject was music in your life. Mm-hmm. One of the people in our group um, was a world-renowned rock star in the 1960s. Wow. He was in a band that started out in Seattle where Janis Joplin opened for his band, Jimi Hendrix opened for his band, and he was in San Francisco at the time of the Grateful Dead. Wow. And Jefferson Airplane, etc. His name is Don Stevenson, so Don is a member of our group. Okay, well anyways, I gotta get filming, I gotta get down to the village. Have a great day. So, first of all, the hat is fantastic. Yes. And I'm going to Rolling with Ian. Yeah, on YouTube. Just put that into the YouTube search and it will find me. I'm going to roll. You roll. Okay. Great. Thanks. You. This is an interesting gentleman. A little long. Oh. Oh, this is a uh, DJI Osmo Pocket camera. One second. Let's start. DJI, the company. You ever, you've seen the drones, right? They're the big drone companies, DJI. They now DGI. make DJI. DJI. JI. DJI. DJI. Yeah. Pocket 2. Because it fits in your pocket. DJI Pocket 2. May you be well. Okay. I uh, I was thinking about maybe I'll edit that out, but he had some interesting things to show about shoddy workmanship. And yeah, in this neighborhood, yeah, you can't make, you know, you can't uh, do that.
So I'm going to continue down here. And we're going to end. My eventual goal again is the village and then down to uh, uh, St. Clair West subway station. And, but I might stop at the park down here and eat one of my... I was taking these uh, these rat patties home, but I'm thinking I might want to eat one uh, on the uh, when I'm at the park. And if you didn't see my live stream, again, I went to this place called Randy's. Randy's has the best patties I've ever had. Not like the ones they, they say in, uh, uh, you know, people have battles online, which is better, Warden Station or um, Bathurst Station. Oh, that's a nice house. And meanwhile, those are both made in a commercial fact bakery by the same company. So that's why the battle is on. I say that Randy's has some of the best. I know there's other people that tell me there's other ones, but Randy's, I think, for me. But I wish they would have a location closer to me. Like, I have to come way out here if I want some. So when I do, I grab about four. I'll take them home. Probably end up sharing one or two. And uh, there'll be something to eat for the next few days. Or maybe just today <laughs> okay well we are coming down to Spadina so it's Spadina we take down to get to the uh, village and also if you were to follow Spadina further down you would go right to Casa Loma and Spadina house you heard that right Spadina that's actually the way the, the house name is pronounced everyone calls it Spadina but I don't know the, why the, one is Spadina and the other is Spadina same spelling maybe in the uh, comments somebody might be able to tell me whether you know what why is one Spadina like Spadina house and then there's Spadina Avenue and Spadina Road because this is Spadina Road yeah Spadina Avenue becomes Spadina Road after basically Bloor Street and some people are confused when they see like 120 uh, an address like 120 Spadina Road and so they're thinking it's right down by the lakeshore and then they can't find the place they're looking but they're actually supposed to be just north of Bloor just a funny little side I wanted to make that's a huge house it almost looks like a, a small school See, again, I can't really tell because I can't see this. The uh, I can't see what the screens. It's hard to see with the sun in it. But I'm hoping that you can see how enormous this house is. Ugh. And how bad this. Look at this roadway. Yeah, just a little bit rough. And then you come up to this house. It looks a little, a little bit more modern. Or at least the outside does. Looks like they just put that retaining wall up. Now look at this puppy. Look at this puppy. Oh, beautiful dog. Excuse me. Beautiful dog. Oh, he's so beautiful. Yeah, I think I read somewhere that a lot of these houses are Tudor. I don't see. I, I really, I, I know some of my architecture. I know, you know, I can spot uh, Victorian. I can spot at Ed, some Edwardian, not all, and I can spot, uh, uh, you know, uh, Art Deco. Well, this area is like the beach. Everyone has to have a dog. Yeah, I'd say all these houses are Tudor style. Whoa. 
Whoa, that's a big hole too. See, I was always told a story <clears throat> about the um, bridle path. For years, the roads up there were horrible, in horrible condition. And you wonder, well, this is one of the wealthiest neighborhoods in Toronto and they've got horrible... The idea was, is that if you have horrible streets, people aren't gonna use it for a shortcut. And it would keep the, uh, keep the traffic down. There's still now traffic calming measures in that neighborhood, but it's just not, you know, they're now like a lot of them, I think most of the streets up there are like conc not concrete, um, brick streets. You know, I don't know what this is, uh, by the size of it and the fence, I'm assuming that it's a school of sorts. We'll have to see when we get up here. Let's take a quick look down some of these streets. Again, all beautiful houses. And that street doesn't even have a sidewalk. Oh yeah, that's definitely a school. But I would, I'm gonna hazard because Forest Hill Collegiate's up at the top of the hill. So I'm gonna hazard that's like a junior public school. And not a high school. Yeah, that looks like more like a, but it's one of the few uh, schools left in Toronto with a huge, huge parcel of land. But I guess they really couldn't do much in this area on that land, so the TDSB hasn't tried to sell it off. Because they couldn't put condos there like they did at North Toronto Collegiate. So since there's no entrance to that schoolyard, I'm assuming that the uh, that school is actually located or addressed on the other side of the street. Now that's a nice house. I know some people don't like that style, but I love it. It's very modern styling. Yes, it looks a little bit out of place in this area, but there's just something appealing to me. And hey, I've got my taste, so you have yours. There is one little entrance there to the back of the schoolyard. There's also a child care center in there. I'm surprised by that. In this neighborhood, most people have nannies. I hope this video isn't too long and boring. I'm just there taking... I haven't been down this in a long time, and every time I've ever come down the street, it's been in a car, so I never really got a chance to really take a good look at what's around here. But yeah, it's not, it's not like Mansion City, like... Uh, the bridal path. It's sort of, I'd say it's sort of uh, the west of young uh, Forest Hill. I mean, sorry, it is Forest Hill. Uh, Rosedale. Whoa. You own a house like that and you have trucks coming past, I would, I couldn't do it. That house is probably a $5 million house and having traffic like this on your street, nope, not for me. Even if I had the money, I wouldn't be living on a busy street. But if I, somebody uh, gave me that, a house along here and said, oh, you can live there for the rest of your life for free, and uh, but you can't sell it, I'd say no thank you. Honestly, it, I just wouldn't want to live on a, you know, if... I want to retire in quiet and peace. Not day and night traffic coming down my street. Sometimes trucks weren't very fast. 
Okay, I'm going to speed up a little bit because uh, there really isn't much to talk about on this street. Um, but I'm, I've only got a couple blocks to go down to the village and I've got to cut through a little uh, area and show you uh, the house that I used to work at. And sort of lived there until um, uh, when I met my uh, first wife, Janet. Um, I'd been working for this guy for a while and uh, you know he was in and out of the country and I just basically lived in the basement and took care of the place for him. Well, I met Janet and uh, I was actually dating Dawn at the same time, but they both knew about each other. And, and one day uh, I just, something came up and uh, I asked Janet to marry me. And then of course had to go to a, um, to an, one of her family events and, uh, and actually had, I actually did the right thing and I asked her father, Sand. In fact, unfortunately, Janet passed away a number of years ago uh, due to complications from her epilepsy. But uh, I'm still like r really in tight with her family. In fact, next Wen Wednesday or Thursday, I'm heading out to uh, to Belleville to visit them because now they're up in Belleville. Nice tr vehicles. Wow, oh, they're all Chevys. Equinox, Yukon, and the other one has a Chevy symbol, but I couldn't see the, the name of it. Okay, so we are coming down the hill towards the... Oh, that's... See, that's a nice house. It's far enough back, maybe, and look at the driveway. I don't know. And if your bedroom is on the other side of the house, I think almost you could live there. But my other concern about is if I want... When I'm coming or going, you know, I have to compete with traffic. Like, or cars whipping up like constantly not just like one car here and there on, on most residential streets like that car is going way over 40 what's the name of the street okay this is Delvan it's not the street You get a really nice house. Probably the one time when the road was uh, much narrower, they probably had more property in the front. But it looks like they've also got a big parking lot in the back of their house. I believe this is the street where I used to work. Let me go. We're going to go down it. And, Yeah, Strathern Boulevard. This is Forest Hill Village. We're going to go in there in a second. I'm just going to quickly take a look at the house where I once worked. I know that years after I worked for him, someone told me he moved across the road there, but uh, like he sold the house that was here and then bought another one over there. Don't know why. I think maybe the one house was bigger or smaller. I don't know. And one of the perks of the job was that, okay, at any time I wanted, I had access to a car, which was, it was an old Volvo. But when uh, he was in town, I was driving, and it was a nice BMW, stretch BMW. Okay, it must be up here. I think it's a couple houses up here. Okay, it's been a while. Almost uh, 25 years since I've been, maybe more. And I think this is it. At the time, he hit a grass, not the, yeah, no. Yeah, this, I think this is it. It's either this one or the next one. I'll know by the configuration of the driveway. Well, they have obviously could have changed, but yeah, I think it would be... No, it's not this one. It had to be that one back there. No, 
he didn't have a garage. But yeah, that must have been it back there. Um, and then it's kind of funny, years before that, uh, I can't remember her last name, but uh, I dated a girl on the next block over there named Judith. All I remember was her father was a lawyer. And she was a, sort of a goth rebel. Oh, and she was training to be a ninja. Okay, so now if you've stuck with me long uh, this long, uh, depending on the um, the length of this video, when I when I finally get it, I might actually either speed up or uh, edit out. Uh, the, an encounter I had with an interesting gentleman talking about the shoddy workmanship of a city contractor. But maybe I'll put that, uh, I'll keep that as uh, an aside. And uh, I will uh, maybe include it on a video maybe about problems of what the city's done or not done. A little bit of uh, bumpy co concrete here, but I'm getting used to it. This is an interesting apartment building that is boarded up. Wow. And there's no sign about redevelopment, but it looks like there was a sign about something happening here but it's been taken down so maybe there was plans to redevelop it or restore it and uh it fell through i'm not sure but yeah there's uh, absolutely uh, no not even a sign about you know those city those city signs that say about redevelopment but uh yeah Okay, well, welcome to Forest Hill Village. Now that building there with the TD and the two places above it, that's a new building. Or new era building. Because the TD used to be down at the corner, if I remember right. I believe that's who we banked with. I was banking with. So yeah, it's like a little village within a city. Oof. Like there's even a home hardware here. I'll show you that soon too. But it's not a neighborhood where you're going to see a Dollarama. I'll tell you that much. So, oh, they, they're participating in, uh, oh, that's something I didn't expect to see. The um, chairs are bolted, le locked together. But yeah, this is part of the uh, dying TO where restaurants could expand their patios right out to the road. And the city came along and did all these uh, down ramps to make them accessible. Okay, there's what a bagel. Oh wow, <laughs> this is new. He would have loved this because, uh, yeah, I had to go very far for an LCBO. This is a new LCBO, that's for sure. Again, second cup in Starbucks are here, but back then there was just an independent. Uh, Oh, hold on. Oh, yeah, this was the Scotiabank before. Yeah, okay, so they've just they're renovating. So it's still here. Wow. 
that tr GFS is the company that uh, does the um, food services for uh, Starbucks. So that's gonna be a Starbucks delivery. He can't go back very far. He's gonna be blocking this. Uh, yeah, he's gonna end up blocking this uh, sidewalk so that somebody can have their their croissant with their with their uh, Starbucks coffee. So yeah, that was this is basically the end of the Forest Hill Village, but uh, oh, there used to be where the uh, espresso bar is now. There used to be a hardware store, but that was many years ago. So the home hardware is closed down here. Hmm. Forest Hill Optical. Oh, wow. and there's even, a, oh, I, I can't believe that. In this neighborhood, there's the subway. And could I get in there if I wanted to get something to eat? No, they don't even have a um, temporary ramp, so I can't go into subway. Because I was thinking of stopping, but mate, no, I'll just have to have my patty instead. Oh, maybe I'll heat it up in my air fryer. Yes, I just recently got another air fryer. Oh, wow, this is quite large. It looks like it could be a business. I think it is. Yeah. Blueprint properties. Of new housing construction going on over there. Probably took down one house and they're building three. Okay, well, that was Forest Hill Village. I think I'll, um, and for Old Forest Hill Road. I think I'm going to end it here at uh, Heath Street. And uh, I want to thank you for rolling with Ian. And uh, I might just actually do another one once, because my, my camera's getting quite warm. So once it cools down, maybe I'll do another one somewhere out in this area. Maybe on St. Clair West. Maybe a streetcar ride in St. Clair West. Okay, well, I look forward to you watching and rolling with me again. And uh, for now, Remember to like, hit that like button, smash it, subscribe if you haven't already, and leave me a comment down below. Tell me whether you know this was a too long a video, whether I should edit, should have edited the guy. I might do two two versions, the long version and the shorter version, and I'll put the um, the longer version on a different uh, channel for my old stuff. Okay, well, again, thank you for. Uh, rolling with me and I look forward to rolling again with you soon. Don't forget to subscribe, comment and smash that like button.